Welcome to your Minta dashboard. This is the screen that you're going to see when you log in every single time to your Minta account. And you can see here that Minta has already created a ton of amazing videos for you based on real-time data from your store that you have integrated with Minta. Now here at the top, you'll see you're able to easily go in and type in the title of any product in your store and then have Minta put that product into all of the available templates for the design style you select. To toggle between different design styles, you can simply click and then go through the drop down and click any of these that you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and select the new in design and hit apply. And then you'll see it'll take a couple seconds for Minta to render new videos for you of the product that you typed in here in the search box. And again, what Mint is doing is it's putting this product into all of the templates in this available design here that you have selected. And as you can see, you have a ton of videos to now select for this specific product. Now, what's really amazing about Minta is you also have a ton of customization options with our editor. So to edit any video, you would simply click on the little pencil underneath the video. I'm going to go ahead and find a template and choose one to show you. We'll go ahead and use this one here. So if I want to edit this video, I would simply click on that pencil and here I'm able to edit things like the text. I'm able to add and create multi-product videos. I'm able to change fonts, change music, as well as colors. So I'm going to quickly run through each of these with you. Here's where you would be able to type in text that you want to change. I'm just going to go ahead and write test there. You're also able to go in here and select designs. So if you wanted to toggle between designs easily, you can do that here. Again, you're able to um, select the design styles just like you are on your main homepage. And then you have all of the templates available here for you to choose from. And you could simply click on a new template. We'll go ahead and select this one. And it's now going to put that product that we were working with in this new template here. As you can see, it's done that and it's updated and modified with my brand colors. And it looks amazing, of course. So now I'm gonna go ahead and toggle here to the media section. This is where you will go if you're wanting to create a multi-product video or if you're wanting to kind of add some flair and oomph to your videos, which I'm gonna show you how you can do that. It's super exciting. So I can go ahead and click on any image. I will go ahead and select this one. And here I can actually type in any name of a title from a product in my catalog. So let's say I had a different style, which I do, a different colorway on this outfit, and I wanted to add that into this video. I would simply type the title, and then Mint is gonna bring in the images that I have on my store for that item. And all I need to do is click on that image, and now Mint is going to input that into my video for me, which is pretty amazing and simple. Now, I also have some other really cool abilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on another image. And let's say I wanted to upload something that was not in my Shopify store. I am able to do that here by clicking upload media, and then I'm able to just browse the files on my computer and upload it. Or you'll see here there is one image. This is something that I've added to my, uh, my media section over here on the left-hand side of my um, menu. If you've added images, previously, it will then pull them here for you to choose from. Otherwise, like I said, you can choose from your computer and upload your media there. Or you have this amazing feature that you get as a user of Minta, where you have access to a stock photo library of over 2 million images, which is pretty incredible. So if I wanted to add something with flair, so this is a birthday outfit, maybe I want to add balloons or a cake, something birthday related to kind of make this a little bit more of a stylized, fun video, not all just images of my product. I have the ability to do that. So I could scroll through here and see anything that's in our stock library that has a keyword and is related to birthday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly pick something here for sake of time. Let's go ahead and click the cake. So now, if I wanted to preview the changes that I've made to my video, you'll see here that you have your play button and it kind of has this pulsating pink circle around it. You can either click there to preview or up here in the right hand corner and preview the changes you've made. So I'll go ahead and do that now. 
and you'll see Minta just takes a couple seconds. What it's doing, it's updating those changes that I made. It's gonna add in the other product that I selected, also that stock image I added, and then recreate this video for me. All right. So again, like I said, you can go through and change fonts if you'd like. You can change the music. You're able to preview any music selection by simply clicking on it. And then if you wanted to use that selection, you would simply click on the side and you would know you have it selected, which is notated here by the pink highlight and pink check mark. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here as no music. And then now I'll go to the colors tab. So you'll see here you are able to select some predetermined color schemes that Minta has created, or you can toggle to the custom button and you're able to click and select literally any color from this color spectrum that you'd like to use for your video. Now, when you're ready to share, again, you may go to share and you'll see if there were any changes here made to your video, it's gonna ask you to preview it again. So you would simply click the preview and then now you'll see your button has then gone to share. So let's say you're happy with your video, you simply click the share button, and then you see here where it says select video or image. So you may not have known that Minta also creates amazing stylized images from every single video it creates as well. So the videos are notated by kind of the signature play button, and then you'll see here, this kind of looks like a image watermark. These are actually still images taken from your video that you're able to share and post as well and any changes that you ever make to your video will then change in your images and Minta re-renders you new images to match the video. So it's pretty incredible. Um, let's say we wanted to share our video. I would simply make sure I have the video selected. You can see there's this little light pink highlight button. And then I would simply select the social channel I want to share to, select my page. If you have not integrated your social accounts yet, this is where you're able to do so. You would simply click the add page button and then you can integrate your social media accounts by simply following the prompts. So I'll go ahead and select my page and here you can type in anything that you want or we have some really cool features here where you can click and add emojis if you'd like or we have this really awesome feature where you can click and it will dynamically bring in information from your product, from your store. So let's say I wanted to add my product title. I would simply click that button and it's gonna bring in my product title. And then I wanna add my product URL possibly for Facebook. Right here I will note, Instagram and TikTok do not allow product links in the posts. So you do not have the product URL link in those when you're going to share. But here in Facebook you do, and I highly recommend adding the product URL every time you're creating a post. That way if someone sees your post on Facebook, they can easily click from your Facebook post to that product in your store. So here you'll see you have two options, and depending on the plan you have, you are either able to schedule or you can post immediately. So the post now means I'm gonna click this and it's gonna go right now to my Facebook page. But let's say I'm working and I'm scheduling my week out and I wanna just schedule this for another day in, in the week. I simply click schedule and you'll see here, I can very easily click on the dates and click done and then select a time that I want my post to post. There will be a time defaulted here selected for you. To simply deselect it, you just click on it and then you could click on another time. And again, you know what time it will be by highlighted here in pink. When you're all done, you simply hit done and then you can hit apply. And now Mint is going to put this on my planner and go ahead and post that on Friday, August 5th at 10 a.m., the time that I selected. So next, I want to take you over to your planner. Here you see there are a ton of posts already showing up on the planner. One of them which is the one that we just created, which is here. It's notated. And then all of these other preview posts are actually from my auto posts. So to manage auto posts, you're able to do that from within your planner and you would click on auto posting and you'll see the social channels that you're able to set up and integrate. And there's a series of five simple steps for each one that you go through. And basically what you're doing here is setting up parameters and telling Minta exactly what you want it to do, what kind of um, products you want it to use, what captions, what templates, and what times you want Minta to post for you. And Minta is gonna do everything behind the scenes. It's gonna create videos for you put them on your planner, and then post them for you without you doing anything other than this initial setup, which is awesome. All right, so we'll go ahead and go back to our planner. You'll see here a bunch of little rocket ships. These are all of the auto posts that I have scheduled. 
as well as these here with the thumbnails. So you are able to preview out seven days of your auto posts, which will allow you to kind of take a look at what Minta's automatically selected for you and go in and make any changes if you feel are necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of the posts here. Again, this is an auto post, something that Minta has created for me based on those parameters that I selected. From the calendar, I am able to, I can update my title, I can update the description here, I can select it to link to my product, choose for it to link to my store, this is specifically for Pinterest, and I'm able to preview the video that Minta has made for me by simply clicking the play button. And then if I wanted to make any changes to this video, I can simply click edit and it's gonna bring up our extremely powerful editor tool here again, and you're able to then go in and you can toggle and change the design. You could again, add in different images. You could add in another product, change your fonts, music, and colors, all right from the calendar. If you do make any changes, let's say we add in, um, again, another image. We'll type in baby girl. This is a girl's outfit. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so let's say we want to add something cute, like a little baby girl photo. I made the change. I'm able to then, you'll see you only have the preview option. So you have to click to preview. And then once you preview it, or if you want to skip through, because you know it's already going to look incredible, you can simply go to the done button. And you also have the option here to select the pink heart, which is going to save this video for you for 30 days in your saved section over here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now that video has been modified on my planner. So it's going to post with those changes that I made again on the date and time that I had selected. So you can see you have a lot of really powerful editing features that you can access for your auto posts as well as your manual posts from your main design tab. Here on the left, I wanna quickly, quickly give you an overview. You have your saved designs. Again, this is where if you select any items by clicking the pink heart, any videos that you like, it's going to save them here for 30 days for you to use. This is the My Uploads area where you can upload media, like I said, directly from your computer and then when you go to ed make any edits to videos, and if you are wanting to pull something from this area, it's gonna pull in any images that you've uploaded here. Your brand kit, this is where you're able to select universal settings for your videos, like colors, adding your logo. Over here is where you're adding your website, as well as your logo. Um, you can choose to have it turned on at the beginning or the end. I prefer having it just set at the end um, and having my logo and my website show. You can manage all of that from your brand kit. And then finally, you have here your account area where you're able to access important things like billing, look at pricing, toggle between different stores if you have them, etc. So I hope you have an amazing time playing with all of the really, really cool videos that Minta has created for you, as well as the designed images. Um, go ahead, play in here edit. I can't wait to see what kind of amazing content you guys create here with Minta.